Magic Arena using a different deck. Some Magic Arena using a different deck. I'm using Grull, that is red and green deck. Currently one of the best deck in Magic Arena along with the rogue decks. Let's start our first match. Opening hand, not bad, not bad. Opening hand, three lands, one pathway, two Love Struck Beast. That's a quite good hand for this particular deck. As I told you, this particular deck, Gruel Adventures, is the new. It's part of the new meta, part of the dominating decks in Magic: The Gathering for Standard. Opening, Forest, and let's put the human, the one-one human with Love Struck Beast going on an adventure. Exile, long away. We're playing against another, probably another Gruel Adventure deck, a Dwelling Keeper, one of the best cards in this deck, if. If that creature survives, it will do quite good amount of damage, thanks to its ability to draw a card when you ever play a creature with an adventure. That's why I'm swinging with the human, trying, let's say, trying to trick the player to block me, so that I would kill the the innkeeper. There's the laugh struck beast from my opponent's side, putting the human, putting a fabled passage. He can crack the Fabled Passage, obviously the land will be put in play as tapped, doesn't have 4 lands. There's my Fabled Passage. I'm going to fire Prophecy his Innkeeper. I told you Innkeeper is one of the most powerful cards in this particular deck, thanks to its ability to give you an extra card whenever, obviously whenever you play a creature with Adventure. I don't have an innkeeper in play. I don't have one. Let's put the pathway, choosing the green, put, putting another human. Swing with the human. I'm trying, obviously, I'm trying to force him, blocking my human with his human, so that I'm going to block his love struck beast. That is the idea, not letting his love struck beast to, to swing for the 5-5. Five five. At least it's there as a defense. It's a little bit different deck from my RDW. I'm still playing the RDW. Every now and then on Arena I just go with that deck. But Gruel Adventures, it's much, much stronger decks, especially now in Standard. Fortunately, this deck lost Lucky Clover, which was a devastating card. Extremely devastating card. That's, that's why I said unfortunately lost that card. It was banned. But... Still, as I said, still playing a little bit my RDW, but obviously Gruel Adventures much, much stronger deck. Along with this deck, there's obviously the Rogue deck, which is doing quite, quite good. Scavenger Rose from his side. That's a very good move, because now he can use that forest. No, he didn't use it. I think that was a big mistake from his side, not using that forest. To put a plus one plus one counter. I'm thinking if I'm playing the brushfire elemental. I'll put the the mammoth. I'm trying to keep the fabled passage for for the next turn. Fabled passage will give my mammoth will make my mammoth seven seven and my elemental five five, which is a very very good thing. I don't think he has any land in the hand. He didn't play a land, he just played the innkeeper. I don't know. I think he he missed a land drop. Now he missed a land drop. I'm sure he missed a land drop. It's quite it's quite uncommon for this deck to miss land drops. These decks are built with a lot of lands. You have the the mammoth. You have the you have quite a good amount of lands in this in this deck. There's the fire prophecy. Removing my mammoth, swinging with this the, with those, not blocking. I'm not. I don't want to kill my creature. Put in play the brush fire mental. Put in play the fabled passage. Crack. I'm swinging. He cannot block. Crack the fabled passage. Choose a forest, swing 4-5, four, 
put in play. An abstract beast. That was quite a very good turn. Something that is very scary about this deck is that scavenging ooze. The scavenging ooze, which can eat creatures from the graveyard, pumping up the ooze and gaining some life. So he he played his last struck beast. Again, I don't think he he has any. No, he has a land in, in hand. I thought he didn't have any land. I can't understand why he played a red source, which means that probably he has. Embercleave. Embercleave is it's a finishing move for this deck. Shutter Sky smash Smashing. Now it's tricky. I'm going to swing. It's quite tricky because if I swing with Love Struck, struck Beast, he will block with his Beast. So killing the both, both Beast, making two creatures in Graveyard, and that means that the scavenging ooze can eat my those creatures and gain life and pump up. I have my Shutter Skull Smashing, which I can kill his Innkeeper and his ooze, doing two damage to the ooze and one damage to the Innkeeper. The ooze now with its checkmate, he cannot do nothing with the ooze, he cannot eat any creatures. That's what I'm going to do. Smasher, Shatter Scar Smashing. I can play the Questing Beast. It's quite a difficult decision, to the truth, but I can play the Questing Beast. But I think killing the Ooze and killing the Innkeeper are the best move from my side. Those two creatures are gone. Now his Love Struck Beasts are check. Are checked. He cannot attack with them. No, he can attack because he has still has a human. I'm attacking with the beast. He has to block those two beasts. He has to block. If he did, if, if he doesn't block those two beasts, he's going to take ten damage. And that's what he did. And that's what I wanted him to do. I wanted him to block those two beasts. Removing those two beasts from the battlefield was a very key play from my side. Yes, I lost my two beasts, but remember that I still have. A beast and a giant in adventure exile and I have a questing beast. Questing beast is quite a good creature. There's the forest. My brush elemental is 3-3. Three, three. Love struck beast, giant in play. I didn't play the questing beast only and only because I wanted and that's the win and that's it. I didn't play the questing beast only because I wanted those cards from the innkeeper. That, as I told you, the Innkeeper is a very, very good card in this deck. Second second game, let's start immediately with a human in play. Put the human in play. Forest from his side. Innkeeper in play. Mountain, brush elemental, brush fire elemental. Swing with everything. Personally, I don't mind losing the human to the Innkeeper. That's what I'm trying to do. The innkeeper gives you those cards and having cards in play, having cards available in hand to play, that's a very essential key move in this deck. Let's put the land as stepped. Swing. Kill the innkeeper. And swing for one. Let's see from his side. Obviously, losing that elemental, it's a pity, because with Fable Passage, I could have done quite a good amount of damage. I have an Ember Cleave in hand, brush elemental from his side, land in play, 3-3, three, three. swing, left stack beast, there's a human in play. Put Fable Passage, crack Fable Passage, let's have some green source, there's the forest, four cards in play, put the beast in play, put the human in play, swing with the human, obviously I'm trying to force him to kill his own human and he fell, he fell for it, even though he has, still have 
a 1-1 creature which will enable the beast to swing to attack if he play a land that 1-1 creature will become quite big now it's a very very important key moment of the game because I have four lands in play I'm going to put another love struck beast I'm going to put another land put a green source swing with the beast the reason why I'm swinging with the beast only because I want him to kill his beast and he didn't block now it's a very key moment first of all I have Amber Cleave if he had a mountain that means that he would have played Amber Cleave too but still I would not lose because I have 16 life and his Amber Cleave probably blocking that's that's a good move from his side <laughs> that's a good move from his side primal might that was a good move from his side now I'm still in play I'm still in play but that hedge that hedge the great hedge is quite quite very tough card especially my deck doesn't have anything let's see if he's going to block the beast he blocks the beast I'm going to put Amber Cleave put in, putting Amber Cleave at the stage of the game it's very important even though if I lose that human I cannot swing with the beast <laughs> unfortunately but I have my innkeeper that innkeeper that one one innkeeper can enable the beast and that's the reason why I didn't play the innkeeper now the only reason is because if he had the shutter skull smashing and had another red source which he didn't have but if he had another red source he could have killed my and that's what he did my human and my innkeeper just for mana and he would done and that's the game put the forest put the innkeeper enabling brat enabling the beast to swing and he conceded that was a very good game can imagine that obviously playing this, this this type of games needs a little bit of strategy i had to mulligan this this hand was all very very low in lens i'm going to keep three lands removing the shutter smashing put fabled passage personally i could have done something bet better evolving wise from his side that means that he has a lot of creatures that need landfalls uh, that's the brush fire elemental obviously if i knew i could have played it much better i could have played the forest and the mountain and then played the fable passage enabling my brush fire elemental to do to be a 5-5 but that's the game I didn't want to risk it that was the only land that would came and play as tapped so I didn't have any one drop so I had to play the fable passage stomp on my elemental put the mammoth at this stage I want to keep my my two stomps my two giants I want to keep them they're quite good removal spells especially against creatures like the elemental like scavenging goose even though if he plays scavenging goose and that's what he's going to do if he plays a scavenging goose he can eat my elemental and that's what he have done innkeeper from my side put innkeeper put the obviously i'm put that creature that land untapped i had to pay the three life because i want to play one of my giants thanks to the innkeeper i will get a card and that's what i needed nice questing beast still the game is not decided i don't think there are any creatures in the graveyard only one so scavenger goose can cannot eat anything he's thinking has six cards in hand so i think he has a lot of options to play a lot of options i think he has he has quite probably has a land it's impossible that he didn't he doesn't have a land he can play his giant he play he plays a tapped land probably is going to play the giant and that's what he's going to do if I put my question B B 
beast in play. Swinging with it, he can block it with his giant. I don't want to give the scavenging ooze any, any type of creatures in the graveyard. And that's why I'm hesitating to attack and I don't want to attack. If I attack, let's say with the giant or with the mammoth, his giant probably is going to block his with his giant and two creatures will go to the graveyard. That means the scavenging ooze will eat those two creatures and will he will gain to life and scavenging ooze will be a 5-5. Having that primal might in hand, that's a very important card now to play because that primal might we can kill his ooze. He plays his smashing, killing my two 1-1 one, one creatures and my innkeeper which was enable, enabling me to and that's what he did you can imagine he played the land untapped he paid those three life and he played those land untapped now i need two green source for my questing beast i need at least one green source for my primal might i can play primal might obviously i cannot play i cannot swing with lafsack beast cannot do that I'm going to pull, I'm going to play at max the Primal Might. Killing his O's. Probably he's going to, to eat my Innkeeper. And that's what he's going to do. It's not enough, it's not enough to survive. At least the O's to live. But at least he get alive. Now, I can swing with the with my Mammoth. My Mammoth is a 9-5. The Giant, if the Giants block my Mammoth, the Giants will die and my Mammoth will remain alive. If he didn't block with which he did, my mammoth would have done nine damage. This was a very important turn from my side. Let's see, he has five lands in play, five cards in hand. I have only two. I have my questing beast, and that's a very important card. Questing beast, when it has haste, so I can swing with questing beast as soon as possible as it hit the battlefield. And there's the mammoth and has also that touch so any creature who will touch who will die evolving wilds and mammoth i don't know why he's telling me a good game i don't know probably he thinks i have amber cleave in hand i don't have amber cleave in, in hand i don't have it unfortunately i don't have it i'm going to play my questing beast he will use evolving wilds to pump up his mammoth but i have to swing it i have to swing i have to do damage he will pump up the mammoth pumping up the mammoth means that the mammoth will be a 5-5 and can kill my my mammoth my giant or my question beast he decided to kill my giant and now and now the game i think the game is in i will stomp his mammoth I'm going to give him the good game. I don't know why he said good game. Probably he thought I had an Amber Cleave or maybe he was taunting me. I don't know. I don't I really don't know. He's at four, I'm at 17. Three creatures in play from my side. Obviously, one the beast is stuck. His love struck beast. Mammoth in play. He can play probably something else. I think he has maybe another mammoth or an or a giant. Waiting for his turn. You have only three cards in hand, so you can play one card or the other. Two moments in play. If I get a land, or. No, I think he still has a chance. Amber Cleave, and that's. That ends the game. That ends the game. If I. Amber Cleave and Questing Base together, it's a win condition. Amber Cleave and Questing Base, because of that touch. Questing beef beast needs needs only and only one damage to the creature to die and the rest is trample and that's a yippee kaye win that's a good win I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you enjoyed these arena new decks gruel adventures subscribe to my channel for more and more interesting videos about magic the gathering and the collectible world.